guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Laura. I make lifestyle videos about living my life here in New York City. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And one thing I want to mention before we get started with this vlog is I mentioned in my last vlog that I will be hiding that little skeleton. Let me get him. Let me get him. This guy will be hidden in my vlogs for the month of October. And I just think it'd be a really fun thing for you guys to like comment down below. I don't know. It's a Where's Waldo thing, you know what I mean? So let me know if you guys see him in the video and thank you for watching. Also, you might notice that it's dark out. If you can see that. So might have to get used to me filming at nighttime, but I think it's pretty okay. I think this lighting is good. You guys will find out why I will be vlogging more around the nighttime, but I hope you guys enjoy the vlog and let's get into it. <laughs> Oh my god, hi guys. It has been forever since I last vlogged. It's probably been about two solid weeks, so I feel like I'm catching up with a friend that I haven't seen in forever, which I'm very happy about. The reason that I haven't been vlogging is because, sorry if there's an echo. If you watch my last vlog, I complained about my camera being broken. So like the front screen was essentially falling off. So I had to bring it in to this random place to get fixed. And they had it for like maybe a week and they had to like ship it out, get it fixed. I paid for it to get fixed and then went to go pick it up before I came here, which you're like probably like, where are you right now? So I'm actually in Long Island, on Long Island. I wanna make sure I get that right. You are on an island, you're not in an island you know what i mean i feel like people can hear me and the windows open so i am on long island i'm in like the north fork area um leo's sister is getting married this weekend today's actually friday and leo is obviously in the wedding so he is at the venue like getting ready and everything so yeah that's where i've been that's where i am now so we got in yesterday i think i'll like share the video clips of like what this place looks like it's so cute it's a bed and breakfast there's like so many wineries and breweries around here it's so cute perfect for fall time like this place is sick i'm a little hungover from yesterday so they had the rehearsal dinner yesterday they had the rehearsal dinner last night and I only had three drinks, but I'm just like so dehydrated today. I actually had to fill my hydro flask up with water from the sink, which kind of grosses me out a little bit, but it is what it is. I have to leave at four o'clock. It's 1.30 right now. And I kind of just wanted to do a very slow get ready with me. This is not the get ready with me that I envisioned. I do have one that I want to film coming up soon. It's been so long. Want to say that October is going to be in full force. I'm going to be very consistent. I have a lot of exciting things coming up. So firstly, I just showered. So yesterday I wore my hair straight, post an Instagram picture. You should follow me on Instagram if you're not. But I wore my hair straight yesterday with a dress from Lulu's and I had the same dress as some other girl at the rehearsal dinner. Why? I brought four dresses with me. I only need two for this whole weekend. I brought four and I tried two on yesterday and of course the one that I pick. Someone else has the same exact one, same color. So anyways, I didn't wash my hair when I just showered because I think I'm going to wear it back because the attire tonight is black tie optional so I have a longer dress so I want my hair like back up off my face. Self tanned even though I don't have to do my legs because there's not even a slit in my dress but felt the need to anyway. I bring this whenever I travel. It's the best ever. I've talked about this time and time again but this Jergens Instant Sun, it's so good. I actually mixed a little bit with my moisturizer for my face and it just gives you like a really nice glow. So love that. I'm not even going to go into that right now. Okay, so I did actually buy, there's a just a pedestal sink so there's no counter space whatsoever so we're just like working with what we have here i did buy these individual eyelashes i've talked about these on my channel before and that i've been loving them so that's also the reason why i want to get ready so quickly because this kind of takes me a while like i just want it to be perfect it doesn't really take too long but it's better than the band lashes and then i got these mink ones they're a little bit thicker so i just want to make sure i have enough time if i end up hating these that i can like take them off redo it you know so i feel all over the place so i will be using this tarte pro palette love these colors i just use like a darker one in my crease and just i don't know i play around with it 
I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just putting this NYX Shine Killer. Oh, apparently it wants to go on my shirt. So I don't even know if I like this stuff, but I don't have any other primer at the moment. So we're just working with what we have. Oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to mention. I'll just pretend I'm on the phone for talking to myself. Another tip, since we're consuming cocktails, beverages, I always bring a plastic bag with hydration supplements in it. This is not sponsored. I do work with, I still have this primer on my hand. I do have a discount code with these companies. So I just wanna say that I like both of these, but I like them for different reasons. So noon, I drink daily because there's no added sugar where the liquid IV, if you are going for a run, if you are like in really heavy heat, if you're like severely dehydrated, severely hungover, I recommend the liquid IV because it's like almost like thick. There's a lot of sugar in it. I think it's like 13, 11 grams of sugar in one packet, which is like kind of a lot. But if you are needing it, if you're depleted, it's a good option. But the noons are, they have like different varieties. So they have vitamins, sport, caffeine ones. There's so many different tablets and you can just drop it in your drink. And it's a very light flavor. If you don't like very strong flavored things, this is a really good option noon. So I also, I already put it in my purse. Hold on. We're just doing like a what's in my bag and I still have the primer on my fingers. Let's put this on. So this is the person I'm using tonight. I already put these nudes in here. I really like these. So these I'm just going to dump in like a water when I get there. The watermelon one's really yummy. So I brought like four of these so I can share. And I will leave all the discounts below, like the codes, whatever, if you are interested in trying them out. I just want to show you guys like what I'm using, what I'm up to. And also activated charcoal. I have talked about these before. These are a hangover cure. Like they dehydrate you like crazy because it just like sucks the alcohol out of you. So it dries you out. So you have to drink like double the water or you can like end up in the hospital. Like you have to be careful with these. So good. So that's what I like to do. I have to paint my nails before we go. And I picked up this oily breathable nail polish in the color Pamper Me. So this is a base coat a regular coat and a top coat all in one and my nails look like I got them done. I was gonna go get them done but I'm like why not just do it myself and I love this color. It's like super simple. My toes look really good too. It's like a really thick consistency but it dries quick like I really love this so I think I'm gonna get this in like other colors or just like a backup of this because it's really good. This is really good foundation. There's like none left but... <laughs> Makeup Revolution bronzer. And that is a heavy hand. Can you even see? What are the odds that I have the same dress as someone else? Like, I can't get over it. Coastal Scents. Have you ever even heard of that brand? Is that brand even around anymore? This was like OG YouTube days, like when I used to watch like makeup tutorials when I was in like my freshman year of college. And for my highlighter, look. Like, am I joking? So the top broke off, but I actually really love this highlighter and I was too lazy to even buy some before I came here. But this is Heart Candy Tiki. And I just can't throw it away. It's like, there's so much in here. So I put it in a bag. I love highlighter so much. I feel like it just brightens your face up. You just feel like a glazed donut, a little angel baby. Did you hear that? That was my makeup bag spilling into the sink. Love that for me. Oh, one other thing I did want to bring up actually. I've always talked about my mascara transferring under my eyes. And some of you guys mentioned to put eye primer under my eyes, which I haven't tried yet because, well, this is really good eyeshadow primer I've been using and I definitely feel like it helps with that transfer of the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. You guys know what this is. Anyways, 
I bought this Maybelline Sky High. I feel like this has been sold out for weeks and weeks and weeks and I finally got it, but I got the waterproof and so I always use Maybelline, this Lash Sensational. I've used it for years and I'm never gonna stop. Like this is my tried and true, but I was like, it's the same company. Like, let me just try this one. People rave about it. So I bought it and I have noticed a significant decrease in the transfer of my eyes like it's still there but it's nothing like aggressive as it normally is with this so my camera's dying we'll be back my camera battery died and i just like rushed to get ready so i have to quickly run out of here did my makeup i put those falsies on they look pretty good kind of did it really fast and the dress here it is i'm gonna go and check back in later possibly but Oh my god, I forgot the most important thing. I'm using this dossier Gorman White Flowers. I use this for realties. This is the flower bomb. The best. <laughs> working on my second day hangover so that wedding was so much fun but I am still not feeling the best today but we have to keep moving we have to be productive it's Sunday which love that there was a wedding on a Friday as opposed to like a Saturday because you know you have Sunday to really get your life together so I just went to the grocery store I have been severely low on groceries because I was going away this whole weekend so I didn't really go grocery shopping last week so we have a major grocery haul. Spent $60, let's get going. Um, first we have a head of iceberg lettuce. I wanna make turkey sandwiches and thought that'd be good. I got a tomato for salads, three pink lady apples, love them. I got a yellow onion because I wanna make chili this week or maybe today, I'm not really sure, it depends how how much energy I have today, which is like very, very much none. Jalapeno hummus, love this, it's so good. I got a green pepper for the chili. Thought it would be good in chili, I don't know. Uh, I got a smushed bag of these protein plant-powered mission tortillas. I got these for turkey wraps. I wanna start like making wraps. Some bananas, one bag down, second bag, oh, it's heavy. Got some turkey. Got some cheese to top on top of the chili when I make it. I got these pretzel, pretzel crisps. These are the sea salt and cracked pepper. Love this flavor. I'm also trying to do this quickly because I have laundry going right now and I went grocery shopping while everything's in the dryer so I have to go pick that up eventually. I'm sure my timer's gonna go off like while I'm filming this. But anyway, cucumber for salads. I got some 
Campbell's Chunky Soup because this sounded really good to me. If I don't feel like making the chili tonight, I can just have this chicken pot pie soup. I don't know, it sounded really good to me. Maybe that's my hangover talking, but it's fine. It was a sale three for five, so I had to buy uh, three of them. The other flavor that I got was Italian wedding soup. I don't know, I feel like these are good for the weeknights if I want dinner, like a soup and a salad or a soup and a sandwich. Just a good, quick, easy thing. Got some diced tomatoes for the chili. I got tomato paste for the chili, kidney beans for the chili, beef broth for the chili. Running out of space. I got some spinach. Always have spinach on hand. And then I got ground turkey for the chili. And that is it. Quick little grocery haul. Maybe I'll jump on later and tell you guys what's been going on. But um, yeah, just pretty busy out here trying to get my life together for this lovely Sunday. I don't know why, like I still feel so dehydrated today and I've been drinking, I've been trying to drink a lot of water and it's been like literally two days. Like today's the second day. Like I should not be hung over anymore, but I am. And that's just sad. This is what getting old is like. It's not fun. But I figured if I cook a nice meal, I'm gonna get to bed early tonight. Big day tomorrow. All right, this is a watermelon noon by the way. Just can't really stomach a liquid IV right now. Also, I'm adding chlorophyll to it because I feel like it just helps. Does it actually? I guess we'll find out, but I'm trying my best here. Hey guys, weird angle, I know, but I'm honestly dead right now. I also had a Starbucks this morning and I ordered it as a grande and I ordered it in a venti cup just because I wanted like extra ice in it, but they ended up filling it up to a whole venti. So I bit my nails off, like my fingers were bleeding today, like literally blood was dripping down my fingers. Like I get so anxious that I like bite my nails, like the skin around my nails. I don't even recognize it. And the next thing I know, I'm like, blood is dripping down my fingers. It's such a bad habit. It's like really bad. But I came home and I didn't eat all day because like, I was just like anxious. And that just like made me not have an appetite. So I ended up coming home and I like made a little turkey wrap. And then I ended up like whipping together some chili because I was like, this will be easy to make, like just throwing everything together. So I just had a bowl of that, but like I'm feeling like weird right now. Like almost like I'm like sick in a way, but like I'm not. I still have my taste and smell, so. That's a good thing. But I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have all this energy today, even though it's like raining out. So I definitely don't have any energy, but I was like, oh, I'm gonna do all this stuff. But I was like, let me just turn the camera on and update you guys because where we're at, I'm just, just not feeling it. But I'll get up and show you guys what the chili looks like. I added like corn and green pepper to it, which like I don't really ever do. But I just want to add some more veggies in there. And it actually came out really well. I will link the recipe down below. Super simple. And like, you basically have all the seasonings in your cabinet. So, I mean, I did anyway, and I'm sure you guys do because it's like, you know, the staples. That's where we're at. I'm watching JC Marie's vlogs. She's like my favorite. I'll show you. I've been watching her vlogs a lot lately and I really like them. They're really good vlogs. All right, whatever. I'm just getting up and let's show you the chili. So it's been thickening up while wow, this lighting makes it look like Shrek food or something. <laughs> but this is what it turned out like. Super thick, really good. I actually added some more tomato paste because it wasn't as thick as I wanted, but came out really great. And I think I'm going to have dessert now because like I needed it. One thing I did yesterday, which is like so unlike me, and I'm just gonna be honest, you know? Um, gonna be honest, and I bought this. Sometimes you just have to treat yourself to the full fat, real ass ice cream, you know? <laughs> it's also on sale, it was only $2.50 for this, like, what? So I bought these Chobani flips. I don't know if I showed you guys. I'll show you now. I bought these Chobani flips because I'm obsessed with them and I honestly thought I bought four of them, but I only have three right here. So like, that's really weird. Do I just like not remember eating one? Anyway, I got the cookie dough, the peanut butter cup and the pumpkin harvest. I'm feeling the peanut butter cup. So we're gonna eat that right now. And these are so good for a pre-portioned meal. No, it's dessert, Laura. It's dessert, dessert. Pre-portioned dessert, it's the best. 
they're sweet and sometimes if i'm feeling really crazy i will add my own chocolate chips to it but it's great so highly recommend if you like have trouble with portions and stuff like that or you just want something easy it's just really great so i always like to share with you guys like what my favorite books are at the moment and this is the one that i'm reading right now it's called the emotional entrepreneur and i've actually been listening to the podcast host um i this is how i found the book is from the ok sis podcast i have been binge listening to that podcast i can't get enough of it like these girls just crack me up and they're so down to earth and like they're just really great like i love them so much it's just super relatable and i love so anyways just wanted to share that with you guys i will share more about that podcast like in a later vlog because i there's more that i want to explain about it but i just can't it, i can't do it today but i did want to just mention that really quickly so that's that oh wait 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 one more thing one more thing i have been really like trying to focus on my sleep lately and really making sure that my bed is like, you know, in tip top shape. So I got these sheets from Amazon and they are linen sheets. So I actually really like the color of them too. It's like an oatmeal color. And I thought it was weird at first. So this is the pillow and this is what it looks like. So it comes with a top sheet, the fitted sheet. You guys know what the sheet, your sheet set, you know? So. No way, no way, no way. I cannot afford to drop this camera anymore. Like, what am I doing? I literally just spent $150 to get it fixed. I think it was my tripod's fault, like not mine actually. Okay, anyway, so here is the, what it looks like. I don't know why I'm showing that, but I basically wanted to say that the linen material keeps you super cold. Not super cold, it keeps you like, it just, you don't get hot in between the sheets, you know? So. I was hesitant at first because I'm like linen is kind of like not the softest you know what I mean and it's kind of a little scratchy so I really wanted to like make sure that I wash these first and I was like oh let me try so slept in them and I've had them on my bed for like a week now and really have been loving it because because I sleep with this weighted blanket and it honestly gets so hot like if you have a weighted blanket you know it is the heaviest thing so you just like automatically sweat underneath it I always like to stay cool with my sheets like typically I go for cotton but these are a really good options so if you're in the market for linen sheets I suggest you try them obviously with summer it's a really good option but I will leave all the information down below if you want to check that out and also I did want to mention one other thing so I bought like these colored sheets as well I I can't even handle myself right now like this is so disorganized I just like I haven't vlogged in so long and there's so many things I keep telling you guys about so this pattern sheets are the softest as well i'm like very sheet heavy lately <laughs> these are cotton ones from target and i just felt like my white bed needed a little something like it needed texture i cannot commit to any patterned throw pillows at the moment so i'm like let me just like slowly try with like new sheets and see how i feel about it so that's where we're at next thing i also want to mention that i recently got these pillows which is all the way back here. They are gel pillows from Amazon and they had a mega sale. They were like half off. So originally they are $40 for a pack of two, but they had a sale going on and maybe if it's still going on, I'll let you guys know like in the description down below by the time this goes up, but it was only $20 for a pack of two. And I kid you not, they are life-changing. So this is not sponsored by the way, but these pillows the most comfortable so i know when i first moved into this apartment if you guys have been watching my videos for a long time i had mentioned that i got a pillow which is like still on my bed um i got it from bed bath and beyond and it was like a memory foam and after a while i just felt like it kind of got lumpy but I'm, I'm still gonna keep it for my bed for like aesthetic reasons but these pillows are the fluffiest most amazing like I don't know if you can even see that but you guys need to get these so i've also seen like other bloggers like post about them before so i was like okay if i've seen them like two or three times on the internet like it's time i get them you will not be disappointed i will also leave a link for these 
down below if you're interested. They're called like the Beckham pillows. And it's actually funny because when I stayed in an Airbnb earlier this summer, the pillow that I slept on was so amazing. And I was like, where is this pillow from? And I like looked up the tag and I scoured the internet like I always do because I'm psycho like that. And I found them on Amazon, but I obviously wanted to wait until they went on sale and it's a great deal. Highly recommend these pillows and highly recommend a great night's sleep. I feel like I talk about that in like every single vlog, but like living here in the city, it's like very, very, very important. So, okay, that's it. I'm gonna end off the vlog here now because I feel like it's an insanely long one at this point, but last thing that I wanna mention, if you spotted my little skeleton friend, please comment the skeleton emoji. Like I think it's just like the head of the well, I don't even know the name and I'm not gonna even try to think about it right now. I'm exhausted, you guys know this. But comment that down below or any Halloween themed emoji down below. And I hope you guys spotted him. He is in the video, I believe twice. So let me know if you guys spotted him two times and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far and I will see you in my next vlog. Sorry, this is crazy. Love you.